Yo, YouTube, and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we got some more rank play, and I'm going to be taking on the OBJ role. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, this wasn't by choice, but the way the game kind of planned out, we went more towards the OBJ route here. So I wanted to kind of show you guys this game because it was quite a unique one where normally I'm trying to slay my opponents. This one, I took the back step, let my teammates fry, and, and decided to hop on the objective and see how it goes. So starting off, I'm watching the left hand side here, and you know what? I'm really tunnel vision right now. I'm trying to get the first kill. Doesn't quite work out, which is absolutely fine here, but we're down by 10 to start this one off. We're actually on the good side. As you can see, the spawns have just flipped here, so we're going to have to try to go through and try to fit them once again. Jump around the corner, and I straight away notice that, you know what? This game's getting mixy. We're down by 20 points, and the first P1, man, the P1's normally very contest heavy, so when you go down at the start, there's not a good start, man, at all. So we're going to have to mix things up here. I've noticed, obviously, we don't have much time in the objective, but to my luck, we get four down. Nobody's on the hill, so we're going to go through, and I'm going to sit on the hill here. I'm going to push through, put a trophy system down, and sit on the hard point. So, looking at the mini map, I realized that the back is actually clear. So, what I decided to do is get off the hill, watch the back. Now, the problem here is nobody's on the hill, but at the same time, my team's pushed up so far up that nobody's watching the back here. So, if somebody overextends, we're going to lose the spawns. This is kind of a loss off situation. Luckily enough, my teammate gets a three piece. I would love if one of my teammates back off. There you go. You see him kind of back off. And that is the problem. Do I kind of sit on the hill and soak up time, or do I back off and get the spawns? Well, there's no point having spawns if you don't have the hill. So, I decided to sit on the hill, and yeah, my teammate just died absolutely frying and i think this is just a good time to kind of assess the game and see what's happening here so looking at the mini map i'm just trying to see where my teammates are and the most important thing i can do is just stay down put the trophy system down and i think this is really important because i get so many comments negative comments saying you know you're a kill whore you don't play the objective and stuff but i feel like this is a perfect example that if my team's all pushed out i'm happy to play the objective i don't mind taking on that kind of role as long as my teammates are slaying and pushing out so in this case you're going to see we get a lot of time here i basically soaked up 50 seconds on that hill without being contested and as my teammates rotate i'm going to go through the front here try to cut the rotation i know they're going to be spawning on the front left there so we're going to go through we try to make one one shot we do make him weak here unfortunately we don't get the kill we do get outgunned from the distance but my teammates on a really good job on the rotation now normally the p2 to p3 transition is quite difficult because the opponents normally start to rotate but luckily enough it was really smooth we're going to go through here and once again i'm going to put the trophy system down now, i think the trophy system is key especially in these kind of scenarios where your teammates on the hill and what i'm going to do is watch over my teammate on the hill the trophy system's down i'm going to watch over if, if i get any like alerts about the trophies getting hit then i know that the opponent's pushing from the front so for now we're going to watch the back stairs turn around i'm going to watch the door watch the ladder and i'm just trying to be that second line of defense you see we go through we make that guy one shot now team shots are one of the most important aspects of call of duty so right there you see that opponent jump around the corner right me shooting him with my teammate those team shots just make it so easy and now let's kind of focus on the rotation how are we approaching this p4 here so far so good we've actually been flawless from p2 and p3 into the transition into p4 another quite a big money heal here and i noticed my teammate died on the left so i'm gonna go through i'm gonna prone see if i can take him out here i actually kind of messed up there i went to pre-fire him on the left well i wasn't sure exactly what corner he was sitting in i know he was on the left could have could have played that slightly better but that's all right i decided to whip out an smg for this heal just because this specific kill was so close range so i was like all right let me get an smg out go through the back make sure to use a head glitch to my advantage we spot one jump around the corner we take him out now as i'm going through you know left and right here i'm just gonna take my time see if i can spot anyone in the corner we spot him in the left corner we take him out that's a massive two piece and now it's time to get on the hill get credy pop the dead silence push through now this little spot here i just really like this spot the reason is when the players are running through the corridor most of the time they're not going to look into that little area they're going to probably run through get in the hill i mean yeah we're not going to talk about that knife pretend that never happened going through to the next hard point and so far so good we were able to change p2 p3 and p4 but now we're into p5 another money hill now the game's far from over we can definitely get a really good lead here if we push through but if they get some time there it's back into the game so we're gonna go through to the right here see what we can do i'm gonna try and go through the flank we take out one i'm not sure what happened to him man that guy got frozen or something but we take him out gonna go through here while my teammates on the hill this is a really good opportunity now this was kind of trolly once again this is the importance of solo queue when to rotate when to hold the hill you're gonna realize i don't know what this guy's doing he's like flirting with me or something like every time i get off the hill he gets off the hill every time i go on the hill he gets on the hill but it's very important here this is really really important i don't there's no need for two of you on the hill at this moment i'm happy to push out as my teammates on the hill so either i sit on the hill and he pushes out or he sits in the hill and i push out and you're gonna see we just do a really good play there we go through we take out one jump out the top ledge there take out the second and i mean absolutely flawless gameplay right now this is not an easy lobby we're going up against diamond players going up against crimson players a very difficult lobby we're going to go through here we have the dead side it's going to slide through and yeah don't know i just got i feel like i just got trick shot or something man the guy okay i don't know 
know what he's doing. He's pulled out a sniper. Things are not going his way. But you can see we're kind of doing really well on the objective right now. Up by 100 points going into this P1 on the second rotation. Now, my main worry is to watch this top area. Although I am playing the objective role, that doesn't mean you just have to sit on the hard point. I think that's really, really important for people to realize. The objective role doesn't necessarily mean, okay, I'm going to sit on the hard point. You have to think with your like, head, right? Okay, what areas are open on the map? If all the areas are pushed out and your teammates are in really good positions, then you can sit on the hill. In this example, okay, I'm getting fried by these guys. They're doing some random trick shots with their knives. This guy's sniping. They're absolutely frying us right now with the kill feed, man. I know it looks like it's easy because they're sniping, but trust me, in certain angles, certain hills, sniping is definitely advantageous. They go through here. I spot one on the left. I'm going to take him out. And yeah, back to my point is it depends on where your teammates are. For me, the objective role isn't as simple as sit on the hill. It's all about kind of positioning. So right now, you can see me. I'm being a role player, right? Because I'm going to the back. I realize my teammates aren't watching the flank. So instead of sitting on the objective, I'm actually holding the flank. I'm holding the overextension for the next hard point. So it's not always about sitting on the hill. It's kind of about being a playmaker, not a playmaker, sorry, being a role filler and kind of going around, man, going around, making sure that you're taking up the gaps where your teammates aren't. Going to go through the front here and see what we're going to do here. My teammates run. Okay, that, I don't know what that nade was doing. I'm trying to take out a bird or something. That nade was hitting nobody. Going to watch through the front here, as I kind of mentioned. In this kind of area, to be honest, I'm kind of trolling now because we've got such a big lead. This is not perfect Call of Duty. In this kind of instance, I should probably back off and play more towards the objective. But luckily enough that it worked out all right. We got one kill. My teammate gets through. And again, while my teammates are on the hills right now, there's no point of me playing objective. I'm going to be the role filler. I'm going to watch this whole right side of the map here and just make sure that when need be, I'm ready for the rotation. And I think that's very, very important. Look at your minimap. See where your teammates are. Now my teammate's dead. Okay, now I can go on the hill. Now I can play the objective. So I think it's just, that's the kind of main point I wanted to get across in this gameplay. Try to show you guys when to sit on the hill, when to push out and all that good stuff. We're going to go through. We take out the guy in the front. Straight away, turn around. And one other point about the objective i feel like people actually get it wrong in my opinion i feel like people think the objective player you know has to go negative and has the lowest interaction on the map i really don't think that's the case i feel like when you're on the objective if your team's pushed out and you get your opponents in the choke points i feel like you can be very very beneficial and you can see the best place in the world someone like kismet is very objective based is is very very positive at champs like he was an mvp like, it doesn't mean you have to like go go negative get fried like, i think it very very much depends on the situation gonna go through onto this hard point again my teammates aren't on the hill I'm going to take the responsibility, go towards the hill, looking at the minimap. What's clear, right? The ladder is clear. The ladder is my main priority here. Make sure nobody sneaks up on me. At the same time, I want to shoulder this right-hand side here because I know that if the opponents come through the right, they're going to take me out. I thought somebody had my stairs, but he comes with a knife, absolutely fries me, takes me out. Luckily enough, my teammate does get the revenge, takes him out. And just like that, we're only 38 seconds away from victory. Or 30, yeah, 28 seconds away from victory. Can't do my maths there. 22 seconds away. I know we can't win on this one, but let's see if we can get a bit close. Going to go through, jump around the corner here. We take him out as soon as we take him out we're going to get the remaining of this time and the reason why this kind of scrap time is so important i know this game looks like it's basically over but just generally that 1v1 gunfight allowed me to get roughly 20 seconds on the hill that 20 seconds is massive my teammates are on the rotation i'm getting the scrap time and overall we're just in a really good um kind of point here to win the game and close it out so my teammate goes through let's go through the back here i heard the guy on the right we take him out that's three down the fourth guy's there we take him out we're gonna watch the right hand side here we see him and we are we gonna get the third oh nope trophies everywhere what can we do we're gonna tuck ourselves into the corner allow the opponent to come through it's a lot easier when you're when you're tucked away in the corner because your opponent has to find you instead of you know you running out and finding them so we're going to go through i'm going to watch the back of hair in behind me go through and we're on an absolute tear towards the end of the game bloodthirsty to close them out we basically put them in a hundred point club i know they were kind of trolling at the end of it i'm um, halfway through they started sniping but i think overall we just played really well and it was against a diamond team man so you can't take it away it's not like we were like playing on a smurf against a bronze team like we played against a really good team a diamond team i actually played a lot of these players before in other lobbies and they were kind of frying so i'm not sure what happened this game but it is what it is man overall really good team performance hope you guys did enjoy make sure to drop a like and i'll see you guys in the next one peace